Well, hello again from Kingston on this uh, Labor Day weekend in North America. Uh, it's uh, time to have another look at the third crossing. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Please consider subscribing if you do, and we'll see you at the other end. A year ago, the lift bridge had yet to be installed and the BG39 drill rig was still installing piles. Today, the major structure of the bridge is complete and work to create a roadway along the bridge and at both ends is forging ahead strongly. Before any roadway can be laid, there's the important task of installing utilities. It's a demanding task requiring perfect positioning and solid placement. Detection of existing services is critical before any excavation begins. Then the rock breaking and excavation commence. In this case, beside the library. Frequent survey activity ensures accuracy and conformance with the overall plan. The bed on which any pipes will lay must be flat, compacted and in the right place. Once pipes and ducts are in place, then the first layer of fill is a fine gravel. An independent specialist confirms the density of the fill using a special instrument. Closer to the surface, it's usually the original spoil that's used to complete the fill. On Monday, the installation of jersey barriers and a traffic management system signalled the start of work to take utilities across Highway 15. Efforts to avoid prolonged disruption of traffic were very clear. By Wednesday afternoon, the trench across the uh, west side of the highway had been completed and tarmac was being laid, with traffic flow restored. Wednesday also saw the south side of the library trench completed. In midweek, it was noticed that the accessory containers for the two largest cranes already on the east side moved to join them. Bridget and Gertie will be disassembled before very long and moved to their next location. They have both given outstanding service in the hands of very skilled operators. Elsewhere on the east end, excavation is already underway to restore the shoreline under the bridge. Very smartly it's then moved up the slope to contribute to building the roadway. The bulldozer making short work of distributing and levelling the loads. Still with the east end, a considerable number of the three ton concrete slabs that will top the steel have been delivered this week. The first four of these were placed on Tuesday the 31st and many times more than that were settled onto the steel during the week. Accurate placement is critical and you see a surveyor here ensuring just that. Everyone finds the time for a wave. Including the folks doing the installation. The large yellow frame in picture is a Miller Edge, a mobile tie-off safety system. But it's time to go west, where concrete slabs have now been laid as far as the 13th span. A strip of dense styrofoam material is placed under all the concrete slabs to reduce direct contact and to insulate. Reinforcing rod is then laid in a complex, carefully engineered pattern. This requires regular deliveries of the material with the cranes and the iron workers kept pretty busy. Final placement and installation though still demands manual dexterity and some strength. The next step, which has become familiar to us, is the laying of a concrete layer, with the Gamako machine playing a critical role. Movement of the delivery arm is controlled remotely, and a portable vibrator ensures that no bubbles remain in the mix. Achieving the proper adhesion for the concrete demands a clean surface, and compressed air and a shop vac are used to ensure this. 
there were two pours this week, moving the whole project forward substantially. The amount of progress made is becoming obvious even to the casual observer. Of course, concrete work isn't over until the cleanup is done. Let's close before we look at wildlife with a slow look at the whole bridge, giving you an idea of just how far we've come this Labour Day weekend. Maybe you could raise a glass and make a toast to all the workers involved in our third crossing. Wishing all of them the very best as they spend some time with their families. Well, that takes care of another busy week on the river. I'd like to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to the City of Kingston project team who've made many things much easier through their help and support. Take care everybody, see you next week. <laughs>